Hello everyone, and welcome back to Strange Wonders. I'm your host, Catherine Chippier, and today we're discussing the only group of bugs that people generally like. So maybe Prank Mantises. Let's just get into the video. Today, we're talking about the Lepidoptera Order. This is an order of insects made up of the butterflies and moths. Both of these bugs are distinguished from other bugs thanks to their large wings, which, as you can clearly see, are a lot bigger than most insect wings, and a lot more colorful at that. Butterflies and moths, despite their similar appearances, have uh, some pretty major differences between them. For one, moths have antenna in the shape of leaves, while butterflies have more twig-like antennas. Moths tend to be fuzzier and stockier, while butterflies tend to be more frail. Uh, that's like the word I want to say. Uh, I don't know. Butterflies are diurnal, while most moths are nocturnal. And moths tend to sleep with their wings open, while butterflies sleep with their wings closed. However, both species have many similarities between each other, most notably the reproductive cycle. As basically everyone knows, butterflies and moths start out life as a, what is known as a caterpillar, which has a diet of plants. After eating enough, the caterpillar forms a protective sac, known as either a cocoon or a chrysalis, depending on what we're talking about, wherein the caterpillar ends up doing a complete transformation into a butterfly or moth. You know, these guys have like the best puberty, no acne, no hormones, you just crawl into a cocoon and do nothing until you're an adult. Also, yes, other insects go through metamorphosis, but butterflies are the most famous ones because of how noticeably drastic the changes are. Now that we've got the similarities and differences out of the way, let's look into both groups and highlight notable members of them, with the exceptions of species we talked about in our caterpillar video. Starting with butterflies, we have the famous monarch butterfly. Famous for its orange and black wings, as caterpillars, monarchs will feast on a plant known as milkweed, which is actually their main defense mechanism, because once they metamorphosize into adults, all the milkweed they ate ends up making them poisonous, which is what the orange color is a warning towards. Monarchs are also famous for the migrations they make during the fall. Like birds, monarchs go from the north when it starts to get cold and then fly down to warmer climates down south, like Mexico before their spawn fly back north during warmer months. We also have blue morpho butterflies. The native to South and Central America, these butterflies are notable for their magnificent blue wings, which are not the result of pigmentation, but rather the result of light reflections, which makes them look blue, similar to how the ocean looks blue. Then we have Queen Alexandria's Birdwing. The largest butterfly having a wingspan of nearly a foot, this butterfly lives in Papua New Guinea, and much like most birds, males are vibrantly colored, while females are a dull brown. Although, females are larger, so they have that going for them. Notably, these guys are so large that most people hunt them by shooting them with guns. Yes, there's an insect out there that people consistently use guns to kill. I wish I was kidding. With moths, we first got the tiger moths, a very vibrantly colored creature. These guys came up with a very interesting way to protect themselves. Now, as most people know, bats find their food by using echolocation. They send out a pulse of sound, and then it comes back to them. They have a general idea of their surroundings. However, the tiger moth came up with a way to get around this. These guys have the ability to give out an ultrasonic squeak that ends up messing up with a bat's sonar map, making them themselves invisible to the flying mammal. In addition, some species secrete an incredibly foul-tasting liquid over themselves so that most animals won't bother eating them. Then we got the giant atlas moth. They, as well as several other moth species, are rather notable for the fact that once they turn into adults, they don't eat. Not because they don't want to, they literally don't have mouths. As the caterpillars, they eat, then they metamorphosize, become adults, mate, and then they just wait until the, all of their food storage uh, dries up and then they die. I would say that this seems like a weird thing to evolve into, but they've been around a long time, so they must be doing something right. I don't get it myself, but hey, that's nature for ya. Now that we got that out of the way, let's look at the cards. Now, this is certainly interesting, The Alexandra's bird wing is in Toxic Terrors. That is definitely an interesting choice, both for a species and where it's placed. Now, I'm not gonna deduct points for this, since yes, they technically are poisonous, but this is still a bizarre thing to put in here. But, I don't know where I'm going with this. 
Hello everyone, Strange Wonders, we have Tiger Moss, and while nothing is wrong with any of the facts stated, for some reason, in the creature feature section, it lists their thing that they eat as prey, even though plants aren't considered prey, and these guys aren't carnivores. Now, I know this is a mistake, because on every other herbivore card, it says food if they don't eat meat. But here, they put prey for some reason. Now this is definitely a mistake, and I don't really want to deduct points for this since they don't get anything factually wrong here, and this is very clearly a mistake rather than something being outdated or just straight misinformation, so I'm not going to deduct points, I'm just pointing it out. Butterflies have great human relations. People love their colors, people like to catch them, and they're used as symbols for happiness. Their life cycles used to demonstrate life cycles in general, people collect them. So yeah, good vibes all around. Moths, on the other hand... People do not really like, because they aren't as colorful. Also, the caterpillars eat clothes, and in general, most of the destructive caterpillars are species of moths, which doesn't help their reputation. Moths are also made fun of a lot for being attracted to bright lights, which even spawn saying, like a moth to a flame, where it refers to someone doing something obviously stupid. However, moths do have the advantage in pop culture thanks to the kaiju Mothra, usually portrayed as a good kaiju who stops bad kaiju from destroying things. So yeah, take that, butterflies! Moths have the third most famous giant movie monster on their side. <sighs> now how many butterfly characters can you name? Exactly. So score one for the moths. Okay, I got way too into that. I apologize. Well, that's all for this episode of Strange Wonders. Uh, unfortunately, we will be skipping Tiny Terrors this cycle. Since the next creature in that series is one that's going to be part of a topic video, which is, a, which is the reason why a certain moth species wasn't in this video, and we're going to combine that with Strange Wonders, but since we've already done four Strange Wonders this go-around, they'll have to wait for the next cycle. So, no straight tiny terrors this go-around. Sorry. Well, goodbye.